Hi guys, this is Skytech Freak and today for you I have the video review and install guide of Resurrection Remix 7 based on Android Pie 9.0 for the Samsung Galaxy S9 and uh, the same for the S9 Plus. Uh, we'll be using the S9 but the S9 Plus basically runs the same ROM and has the same installation as well. Just to clarify before we move on, this is obviously the Exynos variant of the S9 devices and not the Snapdragon variant. Um, for the Snapdragon variant, there's a separate forum on XD and you can check that out for ROMs and other development uh, progress on that. So I've actually been meaning to make this video for a few days now. There were a lot of you that saw my video on Lineage OS 16 based on Android Pie for uh, the Galaxy S9 devices. Uh, based on Exynos and you guys saw that video and said that you'd like to see one on Resurrection Remix and the developer recently I think two or three weeks ago switched the status of the ROM from an alpha to a beta and uh, that's when a lot of you started saying that it's actually probably a more stable ROM now that it's been shifted out of its alpha status and so I should check it out so this is about two three weeks ago and I've sort of been building up to making this video since then hoping that maybe there could be a few updates that could fix things but I think besides that major update from alpha to beta there hasn't been one in the meantime uh, however on the lineage ROM that I made a video on already there's been uh, an update that was updated on the 31st of March so uh, prospectively a few things would have been fixed I think uh, the phone not reading an SD card while you're on that ROM is probably one of the few fixes other fixes would probably be like more smoothness on the ROM, probably a kernel update, but you can go check that out. If you haven't seen my video, you should probably go see that. And uh, hopefully some of the bugs that I mentioned in that video have been fixed by the update. If you guys are interested on um, do me doing a video on that, you guys can let me know and I can update uh, that lineage video with the new version of lineage. Uh, but that's all before we move in so let's start looking at this rom so as you can see right now this is just the always on display um of course just to go over things the fingerprint scanner works so as soon as i touch my finger it sort of goes straight in this is one of the problems i had with lineage os 15 which was based on android oreo for this device i felt like that fingerprint reader didn't exactly like read as fast it wasn't broken or anything but i felt like resurrection remix 6 which was based on android oreo used to read the fingerprint much faster than lineage for the same android version did and uh, but i think that lineage os 16 which is based on android pi and now this resurrection remix also just reads the fingerprint super fast uh, as you can see there's like almost no delay as soon as i put my finger in anyways that's just a quick chat about the fingerprint reader as you can see this is clearly android 9.0 pi i am using these gestures not because of any love i feel like me and a lot of other people don't necessarily like this uh, gesture version and would prefer the navigation bar but just to show you guys that this is indeed android 9.0 i'm using these gestures um, that's the google now feed this is the app drawer it comes the rom comes pre-installed with two launchers trebuchet and uh, pixel launcher however if you want a launcher that is compatible with the swipe gestures trebuchet is compatible and the pixel launcher is not um, so if you are planning on using these Android 9.0 gestures, I would definitely suggest that you get uh, that you make Trebuchet your default launcher or get another launcher that is actually um, compatible with those gestures with possibly like a Magis, uh, Magis mod or something like that, which there are now mods that do that. I've actually made a video on that as well, so you can go check that out. Uh, anyways, let's go look at the system first of all to let you guys know that I am in fact running Resurrection Remix 7.0 based on Android 9. Um, of course you can't get updates on this because this is an unofficial build. It is not an official build so OTAs are out of the question. You can dirty flash updates that come out on the XDA page and um, dirty flash them on this but you aren't going to get OTA updates. As you can see down here in gestures I have enabled swipe up. Without swipe up, swipe up we have these navigation, uh, navigation bar buttons but with this you have the navigation gesture so we go back uh, i've enabled developer options just because um, and of course here is the main reason you would want to flash this rom over something like lineage because of all the 
settings the resurrecting remix actually enables and all the customization gives you over something like stock um, so here you can see there's a lot of uh, a lot of tweaks that you can make especially with the status bar and the look and feel and all the buttons and of course the quick settings that you can add to it and things like that the tile layout probably the size of the tile and things like that here you can actually even change uh, the way your recent menu looks so right now with this swipe up gesture this change won't actually do anything but if you go back to the normal navigation bar and the no normal gestures and then you change the way you want the recents to look there's a lot of customization here as to how you want your recent recent app menus to look as well um, lock screen of course all sorts of customization about the lock screen um, animations mostly like screen on and off animations and scrolling animations and then of course things like the weathers like weather provider and things like that but of course the biggest one here is really the interface and there's all sorts of customizations here which you can do is like create gestures anywhere so that whenever you like do that gesture on your screen and move your finger that way on the screen it basically um, launches uh, launches a service or launches an app or does some sort of setting that you make it do uh, there's of course all sorts of other customizations there's smart pixels which will really help you save a lot of battery because it like turns off pixels at certain points then of course there's a navigation bar tweaks that you can do which again won't work if you're doing the swipe up gesture but if you go back to the navigation gesture these are all things that you can change the buttons of course like the Bixby button which is at least for this ROM a Google Now button or a Google Assistant button and then the volume buttons and power button and then finally if you want to read up more about what Resurrection Remix is and uh, who all contribute to it there's an about page so that's just the Resurrection Remix tools which are straight up in the main settings tab itself um, one other thing I wanted to just point out which is like a bug on this ROM is just that when you go to live display and you take live display uh, and you turn off live display it does this weird setting overlay where everything becomes like really light so like your icons on home as you can see let me just focus in on that so you can see these icons have become really light even your even the recent app menu the overlay becomes like really light let me just show you what it looks like while it is off as you can see these are what the icons and the settings should look like in this dark thing but as soon as you go here and you turn it back off it does this like weird super light icon thing as you can see there's like it looks like there's some sort of light filter on top of it so basically the way to fix that is you just want to go in and in display mode you want to turn it to automatic and then change the color temperature right so basically the problem shows up at 6500 you'll see when i because i'm at it's at night right now if you turn it to 65 it'll suddenly do like this really weird light filter there you go so i think 6500k is like a broken color temperature on this rom so if you change it to like 6600 on both of them that's probably your best bet or 6400 or something like that and just leave it on at all times if you want to turn off live display but just don't have 6500 set ever in the live display color settings and you should be okay so that's just one of the bugs i noticed um another thing i would noticed is that when i initially installed the rom i'd only installed the vendor image and then flash the rom and then google apps and magisk etc so then when i went to youtube and started playing a video it actually wasn't working uh, now of course I've managed to fix it and the way I was we humans. We've come a long way. the way I was able to actually fix it is basically um, I had just installed the vendor image and then flashed the ROM what you want to do is install the vendor image flash the ROM then flash whatever Google Apps and Magisk and things like that you want to flash on the ROM but after that you also want to flash the firmware I'll of course leave all the links to these things um, in the description below and of course during the install guide i'll go over this of course one more time but you do want to flash the firmware as well I, i'm not i can't actually tell you whether it was the firmware that fixed the fact that the phone refused to run like youtube videos or play any music and then when i did flash the firmware it started being able to play videos and started being able to like play me uh play like songs and media and things like that but basically when i didn't flash the firmware of course it was also the first boot so i can't actually tell you what exactly the problem was but on first boot without the firmware flash it was not letting me play any youtube videos and it was not letting me play any songs and as soon as i flashed the firmware and booted into the rom for the second time it basically 
let me do all that so that's just something to keep in mind and of course like flashing the firmware doesn't actually break anything it's always just better to be safe than sorry um again camera performance is okay the pre-installed camera is right here and it's whatever that basic cyanogen type one there's there's like an HDR setting but it's not very good there's just HDR or no HDR there's no like HDR auto I would say there might even be a little bit of viewfinder, viewfinder lag not necessarily anything that you would notice uh, but again not the best camera app super basic so if you just want a point and shoot camera this will serve just fine if you want a camera with like better image processing and slightly more advanced features you can sideload the APK of a Google camera port now the Google camera port uh, that I suggest is iDance 4.1 fix. So iDance basically has two mm, Google camera ports that he has for the S9 Exynos version phones. Uh, one is the 3.51 and one is the 4.1. Uh, both of these have an old version and new version. The new version is basically one that's supposed to be compatible with One UI and I'm telling you guys to install the 4.1 that is supposed to run on uh, one UI because one UI is based off Android 9.0 Pi and this is also based off Android 9.0 Pi. Uh, so here we can just take a quick look at that camera. So as you can see, um, the camera works. It's actually pretty quick. Um, but there are some features that are missing in this. So since this is actually a Google camera port of Google camera five, there aren't features from Google Camera 6 like Night Sight and Top Shot and moreover even things like Portrait Mode are like broken in this camera. So basically like whatever you do it just shows a blank screen until you go back and then of course the viewfinder comes back and you can take normal photos. But of course for normal HDR pictures and things like that this camera is uh, in my opinion way better than the pre-installed point and shoot Cyanogen default camera that we get which is actually not that great, pretty garbage in my opinion. Uh, so that's, yeah, that's what I have for the camera. Um, otherwise, nothing else. I just wanted to just, uh, tell you guys that as far as battery and all goes, I don't see drain that's more significant than like the Lineage OS 16 drain or things like that. If you really use it uh, as your daily driver, which probably isn't currently recommended because we don't actually know um, how stable this is and the battery tends like randomly drain I'm sure if you turn off things like ambient display and all you might be able to get to a full day of use consistently and I don't actually see the battery drain on my device being that bad but some people have reported that there's more battery drain than usual so like I feel like if I had to use this device as a daily driver with this ROM I would run into a lot of bugs and I would run into like a few problems here and there that might hurt me but I don't think battery would be the main problem uh, however, I'm not running this as my daily driver, so I can't actually give you an opinion as to like how many bugs, etc. I see uh, on the regular. Mm, but apart from that, nothing major is broken, apart from a few fixes that I already told you how to do, like media not running, in which case you probably want to flash the firmware for CSV3, and of course, uh, your image on your device looking like it's washed out through a filter, in which case you just want to go into like... Uh, live display and change the settings to uh, change the settings to not be 6500k literally any other value apart from 6500k won't give you that sort of display filter uh, but yeah that's what i have so far as the rom review for this rom so let's go back and take a quick look at how exactly we will install this on our device as you can see there's an advanced power uh power menu but let's boot into TWRP and I can show you guys how exactly you want to install this ROM. So just wait quickly while TWRP boots up and there we go. Um, so first of all, of course, you want to do a wipe of your entire system. And then when that's done, you want to go to install. And first you go to install image and you want to install CSB3 vendor image. This is all going to be linked in the video description but you want to go ahead and install csp3 vendor image once you're done with that you want to go back to select zip and install uh, the resurrection remix unofficial zip that will also be linked as per the xda page for it once you've installed that if you don't install the vendor image it's going to give you an error 7 which means that your vendor isn't the correct one 
when you're installing the vendor one thing that is important of course to do is when you go into image you obviously want to select vendor image don't actually re like uh, flash this to any other partition on your device it needs to be the vendor partition sounds pretty obvious but i just wanted to clarify that once you do that then you want to flash the zip which it doesn't ask you where you want to flash the zip it just does a full flash uh, after that of course you can install open g apps uh, specifically for android 9.0 then if you want you can also flash magisk and all those things and then before you reboot the last thing you want to probably do is flash the flashable firmware of csv3 so first we installed the vendor image of csv3 then we installed all we installed the rom and then uh, g apps and magisk and then last thing we want to do is flash the flashable firmware uh, when you flash this basically the phone auto reboot so you probably want to flash this last especially after the vendor and the rom uh, and all your other zips have been flashed for the first boot so then you just want to go into this and you want to flash it and it'll automatically reboot your device it doesn't really ask you anything and then when you reboot uh, you will reboot into uh, resurrection remix which the boot screen looks like this i can just show you before we wrap up this video but yeah if you have any questions about the rom i will be doing more extensive testing on it um, and of course if you want any other videos on any of the devices that I've shown you, especially like the Galaxy S9 and things like that. If you want an updated version of uh, an updated video of the new version of Lineage OS 16 that's out, let me know. Uh, but yeah, that's all for now, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Consider liking and subscribing. Thank you.